In this e-clarification today, I would like to talk about purification of monoclonal antibodies by affinity chromatography. This is all based on a protein that's called protein A, which is a binding receptor that was isolated from Staphylococcus aureus. This protein has very interesting properties that bind to a certain fragment of the antibodies, and it does allow affinity chromatography. Antibodies, as you know, has this Y shape, uh, where we have the fragment in the base, and these two fragments in the top, and they are called the FC for historical reason, and the fragment on the top that binds the antigen is called the FB. What's interesting about protein A is that it binds with very high specificity to fragment FC, and therefore one can immobilize this protein and use that for uh, affinity chromatography. It's already commercially available, uh, resins that have a protein A attached to it. Uh, and once you use this resin that we have protein A attached to it, you can prepare your antibody regardless what FB they have, but as long as FA is the same, at neutral pH this antibody is going to bind to protein A. And the impurities are going to pass it through the column. Once this is done, then we will now want to remove your protein from there. We change the pH, lower the pH, and then there is a conformational change, and as a consequence, the affinity is lost. So all protein that has been retained in the column is now is going to be uh, removed from the column. So the whole foundation here is the protein A, which was discovered many years ago, and it has this very nice affinity with the fragment C of the antibody. So if you prepare a new monoclonal antibody, MAB, then we can purify that monoclonal antibody by using a resin that contains this protein A attached to it. So that's the foundation of affinity chromatography as we discussed last time in class.